Hey, you guys, this is Queen Mother Elena's Global Enterprise, Queen Elena Global Enterprise, Queen Mama Elena's Kitchen, Beignets, Gourmet Foods. Yes, all of those CEO titles. But anyway, I would like to raise a point about the comedian that this passed on, which is AJ Anthony um, Johnson, and about his wife um, coming out to the media and saying that she don't want all the fake love. You know, um, this lady probably just took her to break down real quickly, you know, because maybe she was the primary breadwinner of the family. Maybe her husband was the primary breadwinner of the family. We don't know what went on behind closed doors because maybe he was telling her when things get better, get better, you know, I'm going to give you your money back. I'm going to give you your money back. And guess what? He passed on. So he wasn't able to give her money back. Or maybe he's the primary breadwinner of the family, and now there's no money. There's no money coming in. You know, we just went through a pandemic. A lot of the entertainment industry was shut down completely. It still has not really picked up. Maybe the gigs he was getting has not been coming. You know, maybe they did have some money stored away for, you know, a policy, you know, or accidental burial or something like that. Money stored away. But because of the pandemic, they had to use their funds not everyone, you know, in the uh, uh, movie industry or entertainment industry is making, you know, big bucks. The movie Friday that you guys speak of was was made decades ago. He don't have a he didn't have a steady job where he got a paycheck all the time. He was rich in name, but not rich in pocket. So he made that money from Friday, and guess what? He lived off of that money. So if he wasn't having any endorsements or you know any type of gigs coming along. You know, basically, he was just, what, rich in his name. So, let's be humble, kind, nice, and giving. Our group of people tend to be judgmental very quickly um, and slow in giving. You know, sometimes I see GoFundMe on uh, social media, and I'll, you know, coming from our... Um, I'll call Cajun brothers and sisters when they're asking for something. And I'll go look on their GoFundMe. Man, they'd be up there in uh, triple digits. And I'll look at some of the famous people um, that's uh, asking for money. You know, they should get some money. And they'll say like $30,000. And they'll be down at like five or $600. And I'll be thinking to myself, what's wrong with our people? They don't like giving. It's always an excuse. If you don't have it, don't don't judge just keep going and if you have it give out of love give out of kindness give out of happiness give out of joy because you're able to give but don't always be quick to judge people as to oh they should have had a policy i ain't got time to be giving them no money or ain't our ain't our responsibility to be taking care of your burial service you should get a policy let me tell you it's not easy to get a policy nowadays okay he could have been sick couldn't get a policy. Maybe he was trying to get a policy. He could have been um, a, a smoke or anything. We don't know. You know, it's not like back in the day, um, 80, 80 years ago, when my mom and them got a policy, or maybe even like in the 60s, or maybe in the 70s, okay? When you're trying to get a policy and they don't need the person's signature, they just go ahead and get a policy. Nowadays, you have to get that person's signature in order to get a policy. Yes, you do. And as you get older, the policies get higher you know a lot of the black men and some of the black women they got these myths they think you're gonna put a curse on them uh he probably said oh hey, you trying to curse me or you trying to send me to my grave early or oh, what you gonna be doing with all that money when i'm gone you gonna be, you ain't nobody gonna be enjoying all that money when i'm gone i, I don't know what you're talking about i ain't about to go get no policy ain't nothing happening to me i ain't dying no time soon she probably saying aj come on get a policy you know just in case something happened to you. He probably thinking, I'm gonna, I'll live you. Ain't nothing going to happen to me. I ain't getting no policy. Honey, only if walls can talk. I can recall being in a similar situation. And I told the person, I said, you know, you drive trucks. You're always hitting something, always having an accident. You know, we want to make sure you take care of your child in case something happened. I ain't getting no policy. What you trying to um, put a curse on me? I was like, no, I'm not trying to put a curse on you. But you're always hitting something. You know what I'm saying? Charlie, that person eventually died. Like, uh, maybe I say that uh, one year they was gone the next year. And Lord rest that person's soul because they were dear to us.
But anyway, we're not trying to put, you know, curses out on people. It's just the reality of it, you know. And now this lady is left in a situation where she's trying to put a barrier together. I think she came out in a wrong way and presenting herself, but she could have said, hey, you guys, you know, AJ did have a policy. The policy lapsed because of financial situations going on, you know, with the pandemic, it just was taken away from us. Um, I really would appreciate it if you would help us out. You know, she could have personally contacted some of the um, comedians that he was, you know, friends with. You know, Ice Cube, Ice T, whoever he was talking to, any and one of them was com comedians, and um, Snoop Dogg, all of them, and say, hey, you guys, I really need your help instead of coming out the way she did. Um, it kind of paid off for her, though. You know, uh, I heard her GoFundMe was up at 30000 You know, the lady still got to live after. You know what I'm saying? Again, if she was the primary breadwinner of the family, now she got to pick up because she was probably investing in him and he didn't have it. And our flip side of that, he was the primary breadwinner of the family since he didn't get a policy. Now she's stuck trying to survive, live, and do what she got to do. Yeah, that's easy said and done. She's going to go out there and get a job. At her, you know, in her age group, she's going to go out there and she's going to get that job or whatever she needs to do. I'm pretty sure she's an improviser and she knows how to get things together. But let's not be so hard on the sister. You know what I'm saying? Let's not be so hard on us. Okay? Let's help each other. You know, the uh, Chinese, the Japanese, um, Thailand, Taiwan, all them people be going up against each other in their own country. But when it comes time to stand together and help one another, continent against continent, country against country, they stand together. They stand together. So that means that if the Thailand person needed some money, China going to help them, that person going to help them. You know what I'm saying? But us, when we come to needing each other's help, they find, look, I say people find every excuse because they don't have. You can't take the money with you, obviously, to your grave. So if you have it, give some. If you don't need it right now, you know, you got a little extra help somebody. All you're doing is planting good seeds, helping your future generations to come. I love you guys. Peace out. Let's be always humble, kind, and giving and nice. You know what I'm saying? Let's be easy on this wife and help her through her, what she's going through. She lost her husband. You know what I'm saying? And wherever the money was coming from, it's not there anymore. And she's going to need some financial assistance. And again, you don't know what went on behind closed doors. I'm pretty sure that sister was up there telling him to get a policy. And no boy being the, probably the person he is and some of the, the, the mindset all black men can have. I ain't getting no policy. And he ain't said it that nice. He probably said, I ain't getting no mm -mm policy. You ain't trying to kill me. You ain't going to be up there enjoying my money while I'm dead and gone. You know, this ain't a lot of uneducated, you know, slangs that he now can't do nothing about because he got home, okay? So let's be mindful when we say people should be having policies. Not everybody can get a policy. And sometimes when you do go get those policies, it's so expensive, it's cheaper just to wait for them to pass on and pay 3000 for um, a cremation or, you know, financial burden. Ain't nobody coming behind you for no financial burdens on your bills when you die. That's your bills unless you uh, signed on the account with them. They can't collect nothing from you unless you got an inheritance from the house. Of course, you're going to have to pay taxes on the inheritance of the house. That's a given. You're going to have to pay taxes on any of the property that you have. But as far as their individual bills, unless you're the beneficiary on their bills or whatever they have, you're not responsible for that. That went to the grave with them, and they're going to still, and yeah, knowing this collection agencies we got in America, they're going to still be trying to bill you in your grave because they do stuff like that. But at the end of the day, come on, y'all, just give. Yeah. If we got 20,000 fans, each person get $5, guess what? They're going to have enough to bury him. If you want to be nice, you know, normally when people call you up on the phone and say, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry for your condolences, or they text you, or whatever way they communicate with you, they probably say, what's your cash app in your Venmo? Let me send you something. If they come into your house, they bring in food, they bring in money, they say, if you need me, here you go. You know, they just giving. That's what, that's what they, they just give. That's what a lot of the other cultures do. They just give. They help one another. They bring them money. Okay. And they may have policies, but nobody is thinking about no policies. That's just extra. But they just give because it's condolences. 
it's time to moan the dead. So, you know, think about that. Some of you guys are raised up in the era where your parents and your grandparents didn't teach you anything about giving. So now you're living in this 2000 millennium time and you just say things and you don't be thinking and you're just thinking about what you have and knowing at the end of the day, something happened to you, you might need some help, you know what I'm saying? And you can't take the money to your grave anyway. So guess what? Be kind and giving while you're alive. Amen. Love you guys. Peace out.